Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and welcome to this week's Motoring News. Nissan has announced the new car will go into limited production, with a high-performance compact crossover to be built to order. The Japanese company has received firm orders for three cars to be built on the back of its global debut in Dubai last January. The new car features a 3.8-litre engine under the bonnet and GTR running gear, which combine to give a top speed of 160 miles per hour. BMW has updated the X1 range, with styling changes, new engines and an even higher level of standard equipment. The premium compact crossover receives extended painted surfaces at the front, reduced plastic bordering at the lower edge of the body and a more prominent underguard to reinforce the off-road appearance. The new BMW X1 goes on sale in July, priced from £24,660 on the road. Kia has launched the new Seed with sophisticated technology updates as it looks to compete with the Ford Focus and VW Golf. Lane departure warning, park assist, heated seats and sat-nav are all on offer for the new model, with prices expected to range from £14,000 to £25,000. An estate model will follow in the late summer, with the hatchback Seed arriving in showrooms in June. VW has created a new trim level for the Polo called the R-Line. Based on the existing match spec, the R-Line features deeper front and rear bumpers, a black gloss radiator grille with R-Line badging and 16-inch alloy wheels. The new trim is available with just one engine, the existing 1.2-litre petrol, which can send the Polo R-Line from 0 to 62 in 9.7 seconds, onto a top speed of 118 miles per hour. Prices start at £15,195 on the road for the three-door model. Volvo has set two new world speed records for a commercial vehicle with its hybrid truck Mean Green at Wendover Airfield in Utah. Mean Green managed to hit 147 mph on the flying kilometre and 95 mph for the standing kilometre. Its combination of an electric motor and diesel engine delivers over 2,000 horsepower and nearly 6,800 Nm of torque. Although the record setting hybrid may look different from regular trucks, Underneath it shares the same components as other Volvo commercial vehicles. Ferrari has managed to attract over 8 million Facebook fans, and to celebrate the company filmed a 458 Italia burning the record number into the tarmac of the Furiano racetrack. Online fans of the prancing horse span the globe, with people clicking on from countries as far afield as Tonga, Afghanistan and Libya. Ferrari has dedicated the video to every one of the 8 million as a special thank you for their continued support of the brand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out next week's edition for more motoring news.